careful to reflect on the darkest times in your life. Sometimes you gotta do that. I was fucked up. I mean, I hit rock bottom. But I made no excuses. My behavior on that video is inexcusable. I take full responsibility for my actions in that video. I'm disgusted. I was disgusted then when I did it. I'm disgusted now. I went and I sought out professional help. I had to go into therapy. I had to go into rehab. I had to ask God for his mercy and grace. I'm so sorry. But I'm committed to be a better man each and every day. I'm not asking for forgiveness. I'm truly sorry. It's your man Bustle Move General YouTube, but listen, I'm gonna say this right here. Yeah, I seen Diddy um I guess apology, but not an apology. He wasn't asking for forgiveness, he was just trying to acknowledge the bad decision that he made. But I say this right here to y'all. Let's keep this in mind. This right here, when stupidity is just being stupid. First and foremost, his actions were atrocious in that video, it was just too much. But secondly, let's speak about how the video got surfaced. When it happened, did he pay them people $50,000 to give him the video? Instead of destroying the video, so you wouldn't be embarrassed, Cassie wouldn't be embarrassed, because that was an embarrassing moment, and it was a disgusting moment, instead of doing away with the video, he keeps it. So when the feds raid his house, they got the video now. So what they do is, they make it public. And now, it's just showing everybody that this is one of your deepest, darkest secrets and moments. We ain't, we, listen, this is bigger than you and Meek Mills. You know what I'm saying? You and Meek, this, this is past that now. You out here real live wild and you had us thinking that you this woman was just trying to extort you and this and this and that and that and that and this and you it was over there traumatizing that woman. So, like I say, it's your man Bustin Move, general YouTuber. Hit the like button, subscribe button, and get all the notifications, man. If y'all ain't seen what he did, I'm, you know, catch it after this, catch it right, catch it right behind this video. But I say this right here. I just showed y'all his apology. Now I'm gonna show y'all what he did. None of it is acceptable, but I say this right here. Hey, Diddy, you got to tighten up, so now we don't know where you at. We don't know if you in Bali, Dubai, Thailand, or Wacker Hut. We don't know. Here nor there. You really need to drop down your knees and pray, so now you need to ask a lot to bless you and everything you doing. Because right now, you are going down a one-way street of spiraling out of control. And your finances will always be there because you are a multi-millionaire. But your integrity and your dignity is really slim. It's just at an all-time low. It's your man, Bustin' Move, gentleman YouTuber. Hit the like button, subscribe button, get all the notifications. You know what it is. Check this video right here. Check it out. Check Combs. It out. The video, captured on multiple cameras, shows Combs assaulting his then-girlfriend, Cassie Ventura, in a hallway at a Los Angeles hotel in March 2016. A lawsuit filed by Ventura in November last year and settled the next day referenced actions that seem to match those seen in this video. There is no audio. According to the complaint, Combs became extremely intoxicated and punched Miss Ventura in the face, giving her a black eye, which according to the lawsuit, prompted Ventura to try and leave the hotel room. The surveillance video obtained by CNN begins as she enters the hallway. The complaint says as she exited, Mr. Combs awoke and began screaming at Miss Ventura. He followed her into the hallway of the hotel while yelling at her. The complaint goes on to say he grabbed her and then took glass vases in the hallway and threw them at her. Mogul, Sean Diddy Combs.